These are our favorite noodle recipes. They are super easy to make and they are delicious on their own, but they'll be even better with your favorite Chinese homestyle dish. Noodles are a great money saver too. There are so many different types that are incredibly inexpensive and you can make a lot of it to fill you up. Keep your eye out for my new cookbook coming out this fall that will include all four of these recipes. Starting off with six shallots that I've already peeled and I'm just gonna slice these up and get them going. Just thinly sliced. I am heating up my pot on medium high heat. You don't have to wait for the pot to get hot. I'm adding about half a cup of oil. You just want enough oil to cover the shallots when they're in there. I'm using corn oil today and you can use whatever neutral cooking oil you'd like. I'd probably stay away from like olive oil because it does have a more of a flavor to it. I'm also using a uh, cast iron Dutch oven but you can use a deep frying pan or anything with like a, a thick bottom, a heavy bottom pan. Now that the oil is hot, I'm going to add my shallots. And it seems like a lot of shallots, but they will cook down quite a bit. All right, the shallots should be covered with oil, but I just can't bring myself to use that much oil. So I'm just going to keep stirring it around and hope that it's enough. Make sure to stir your shallots around so that they don't get um, burnt at the bottom. You want it to kind of evenly cook. And because I'm not adding more oil to this, I am just trying to make sure that it doesn't burn. But you have to keep your eye on it. All right, you see that the shallots have cooked down. The oil is kind of covering all of it now and it is a golden color and that's what you want. You don't want it to be burnt. So at this point, I'm gonna turn off the heat and let it continue cooking until the shallots are crispy. So we're turning off the heat, but there's still a lot of residual heat left in the pot, which is why it's important to use a heavy bottom pot and at this point, they shouldn't burn. You can walk away, give it five minutes or so, but I'm just gonna keep my eye on it here. I'm just gonna let it sit. While that is cooking, I'm just going to get the rest of my ingredients going. I've got about a thumb size piece of ginger. It's about half an ounce. And I'm just gonna slice this. You can also grate it if you like but I don't want the pieces of ginger in there. I just want the flavor. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Four cloves of garlic. And for garlic, you can use as little or as much as you like. I'm starting off with four, four cloves. It's gonna give me about a tablespoon, maybe a, a touch more. I'm also going to chop up some cilantro. You can also use uh, green onions if you like. If you don't want cilantro, you can omit it altogether. Green onions would be nice in it. You can chop it up as finely as you like or leave the pieces bigger. I also have a Thai chili that I'm just going to slice up. And I'm just using this as garnish for the noodles. If you'd like, you can also put it in with the garlic and cook it up in the sauce, but we don't want the sauce to be spicy, but it's totally optional. All right, the shallots are looking really good. Now this is what you want and before they burn. So I'm gonna take them out now. Just put them on a paper towel lined pan. Just spread them out a little bit so that they will cool down quickly. All right, so I'm going to use all of the oil that's in here, turning the heat back up to low only. Now I'm making a larger batch of sauce that you can store in the fridge and use this for your noodles for the next you know, couple of weeks or so. And if you want to make a smaller batch, well, I just wanted to make a whole batch of shallots because I don't like to have to do this every single time just to get a little bit of shallots. So by doing this, it just, you know, it makes a great meal once, 
but many times after. Okay, I'm adding my ginger now. And we're just gonna let this cook for about two minutes just to get the ginger flavor into the oil. Well, that wonderful aroma is wafting through the air. It is, it smells so good. Okay, it's been about a minute or two, so we're gonna remove these. Now, if you wanted your ginger to be grated instead, you would add it with the garlic right now instead of cooking the ginger first. And this is only gonna take about 30 seconds. Does this look familiar? This is kinda like for garlic noodles. This noodle dish is similar and is just as flavorful. Okay, adding half a cup of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of ketchup mayonnaise, which is a dark soy sauce. And if you don't have this, you can use a um, regular dark soy, but I would add a little bit more sugar than I'm going to add here. Tablespoon of sugar. And two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Give this a stir and make sure that that sugar is all dissolved. You can hear at the bottom whether or not it's dissolved or not. So these are the noodles I'm using. This is not a brand placement or anything. These are the noodles that we like. They are thin and they come in different widths. So you can get, um, I think, medium and also extra wide. And these only take three minutes to cook, so they're just as quick as an instant noodle. And when you have the sauce already made, you can just make these noodles anytime. So the sauce can stay in your fridge for about a week or two, and you only need about a tablespoon or two tablespoons for the uh, one serving. So it's totally up to you how much you use, as little or as much as you want. And you can add whatever toppings you like so that you can make it a complete meal. I just made some noodles and I'm going to add about a tablespoon, no, two tablespoons to this amount of noodles. And we're just going to kind of mix this around. This is kind of like a Malaysian style lo mein where you get the sauce kind of on the side and you can just add as little or as much as you'd like. You can top with some cilantro. And again, you can use green onions here. It'll be just as yummy, especially if you don't like cilantro. A couple of chilies. Not too much. And don't forget the shallots. See, they're all crispy now. Oh, so good. And that is it. I am using knife cut noodles today. They look like this. They usually come in little cakes like that. And if you can't find these type of noodles, which can easily be found in most Asian markets, you can use the regular wheat noodles or even instant ramen, a couple of packages of those, or even pasta. It's totally up to you. This sauce is super versatile. I'm gonna get these started on the stove. So each one looks like this. And one is probably not enough per serving. So I'm gonna make three of them. That would be two servings. Well, that's what I think anyways. They only take three minutes to cook. So in that three minutes, you're gonna get your sauce ready to go and your snack or lunch will be ready in no time. Okay, I've got four cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna run them through my garlic press because I want them to be really finely chopped or minced. You can totally do it by just chopping stuff up 
or chopping them up. And you can use as little or as much garlic as you like. Kind of like the, uh, the garlic noodles. Yeah, if you want more, definitely add more. And if you don't want as much, don't add as much. It's super simple. Like you're the one eating this, right? So just do what you like. I have two green onions here. So lately I've been cutting the green onions about there and I've been planting them in my garden because green onions will actually grow back. I'm gonna chop these up and add them to my garlic. Way to get uh, economical in these times. Oh, I know, everything's so expensive. Okay, and all of this is also going into the bowl. And you want a bowl that's gonna be big enough to put your noodles in and to toss after, because we're making the sauce right in this bowl. All I'm doing here actually is heating up oil. So I'm gonna heat that up on high, adding a quarter cup of cooking oil, whatever oil you like. And meanwhile, while that's heating up, I'm gonna chop up the rest of my ingredients. I've got a little bit of cilantro here. If you don't like cilantro, you don't have to use it. This will be used as garnish at the end. And I have a cucumber. Now cucumbers are also great for kind of reducing or giving you a little bit of reprieve from anything spicy. So I thought it would be good to add to the noodles. Oh, and great for texture too. Yeah. But totally up to you. If you don't want to add cucumbers, you don't have to do that either. Just want to cut these into matchsticks. I'm just using half of a seedless cucumber. We actually call these English cucumbers here. I don't know why. Okay, when your oil's hot, turn it off. Didn't take long, it took like, I don't know, a minute. All right, you're gonna pour this oil over your green onions and your garlic in the bowl. And that will cook it a little bit. Okay, we're making the rest of the sauce. The noodles are done, adding a tablespoon of ketchup manis, which is a dark, sweet soy sauce. And if you don't have this, you can just use regular soy, but add some sugar. Probably about equal parts but it really does have a distinct flavor. It's almost molasses-like. Adding a tablespoon of regular soy, tablespoon of oyster sauce. Now, if you don't like oysters, it actually doesn't taste like oysters. I don't like oysters either. Sorry, this is a brand new bottle. Anyways, or if you're allergic to shellfish, um, Oysters, like this oyster sauce is made with oysters, but you can get ones that are made with mushrooms. So totally vegan. One teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay, about a tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. And this is the part. We're using the chili oil that almost killed dude in Dan Dan noodles. Oh yeah. <laughs> And we're gonna use, how much should we use, dude? I don't know, not enough to kill me? <laughs> About a, like half a teaspoon? Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, this? Yeah, it's, it's really important. All right. So whatever chili oil you guys are all using, it totally depends on how much you want to add. It's totally up to you. This is the, uh, the numbing Szechuan type of chili. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty spicy. Yeah, but real tasty. Okay, we're just gonna give this a stir. Okay, and our noodles are ready to go, right? So they're going straight in here. Do you need another utensil? There you go, ready? In a lot of my noodle dishes, uh, a common request is that, oh, can't we make it, make more sauce? Absolutely make more sauce if it's not enough for you. But this one makes a lot of sauce and not like, there's not as much noodles as I would normally put in a recipe with that amount of sauce. So these are gonna be super saucy. That's it, dude. 
Oh, one more. And just give that a stir. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks so good. It sure does. And the aroma, so good. Wow, look at the colors and oh. Oh my goodness, it, oh, it smells so good, you guys. Now, you can use as little or as much cucumbers as you like. I maybe use about half of it. I'm gonna to toss it in there, along with about half the cilantro that I chopped up. Toss that up, and then that's it. Can you believe it? I'm starting with half a pound of chow mein noodles. I've already blanched them and rinse them under cold water to stop the cooking, but also to remove some of the starches because I'm going to be stir frying this chow mein. Now this noodle comes in a bag like this. I think they're cooked and dried, and then you just buy them and you kind of rehydrate them. Because on the back, it'll give you instructions on how to prepare your noodles for the different things. Like, you know, it's always preparing the noodles the same and whether you use it in a soup or in uh, pan fried noodles or in a stir fried noodles, there is a way to kind of, I guess, bring them back to life before you use them. I found these in the refrigerated section of the Asian market, and you can find a variety of different types of chow mein noodles. These are the thin chow mein noodles. You can get thicker ones if you prefer that. You can use those. I didn't check the dried section to see if they had dried chow mein. I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, I usually just buy the ones in the refrigerator. I'm using half an onion that I'm gonna slice up. And I like to slice from top to bottom. Just find that they hold its shape better when I'm cooking. I'm using green Chinese chives today. In this particular dish, we often find it with yellow chives in the restaurants, but the yellow chives were like $12 a pound. And I'm like, I'm not paying $12 a pound. So we got these for $3 a pound. You don't need much. I would say about a quarter size amount. I'm just gonna cut these up into two inch pieces. These chives are garlicky in flavor, but if you can't find chives, you can always use just green onions and use about maybe four or five stalks of green onion in its place and it will be just as tasty. I'm using four ounces of bean sprouts that I have already rinsed and set aside. Starting with one teaspoon of sugar. I'm just using regular sugar. You can use brown sugar if you like. Adding a, one tablespoon of soy sauce. This is the light soy sauce or just regular soy sauce. Two tablespoons of the dark soy sauce. And dark soy is not as salty as regular soy. It's actually a little bit sweet and we are using it basically for its color, but still a little bit of soy sauce flavor. If you don't have dark soy, I would use um, more regular soy and maybe a little bit more sugar. I'm also using one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And this is where the noodles gets its umami flavor. It's a new bottle, so I'm having tr trouble just getting it out. Good enough, love. About a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper and one tablespoon of water. Let's stir this around. Make sure that that sugar at the bottom is dissolved. A whisk might actually do better here as I have this like white pepper clumping together. Oh my goodness, so much faster. It's me not wanting to wash too many things. So I try to just get everything done with what I've got out. Okay, heating up my wok on medium high heat. This dish is so simple to make and it can go with so many things. Of course you can have it on its own, but it is great with like orange chicken or General Tso's chicken or beef and broccoli. Like all of those recipes you can find in my cookbook, Chinese Homestyle, and this dish would go perfect with those. 
As soon as you start to see your wok smoke, that's when you add your oil. So we're adding a tablespoon of cooking oil. I'm using um, canola oil today, but you can use vegetable oil or whatever oil you want to use that is kind of neutral in flavor. Adding the onions. I'm gonna cook this for about a minute or two, just to soften them up a little bit. It's really important to have all your ingredients ready to go because this recipe is super fast. Okay. Adding bean sprouts. Just for about 30 seconds or so. And we're adding our noodles. And you'll find like the noodles are loose. They're not like super sticky. And that's what happens when you kind of blatch them and you discard this, um, you rinse it under cold water to discard some of that starch. I'm just gonna move some of the vegetables up top and get the noodles down to the bottom. I'm gonna drizzle about a tablespoon of oil just around the edge so that we can get the noodles a little bit crispy as it slides down the edge of the wok. And we're just gonna let this sit for about a minute or two so that we can get some crispiness on the noodles. I'm gonna move the noodles around. Okay, and we're adding our sauce. Look at that color, so Looking pretty. Good. So this dish is often served in Hong Kong style cafes for breakfast. You can have it with congee um, or some other kind of soup, soupy dish to go with the noodles on the side. It's also found in dim sum restaurants for lunch. That is just an extra tasty dish to have. Adding the chives. And we just want to cook this until it's all wilted. Right, turning off the heat. Look at that. Looks so good. I literally don't know what my problem is. I always forget to tell you guys to add the sesame oil when I'm still stir frying. So, doesn't matter. Sesame oil for the win. Right on top. A package of egg noodles cost me less than $4 in the grocery store, but if you were to order a giant plate of lo mein in a restaurant, it can cost anywhere $15 and up these days. I'm using a small piece of ginger, not even a thumb size. I'm gonna grate about two teaspoons of ginger into this recipe, and if you don't wanna use ginger, you can eliminate it. If you wanna use more ginger, you can add more or use less. Totally up to you. We just want to get a good tasting meal on the table. That's the goal. Also using four cloves of garlic and I'm just gonna run them through the garlic press. We're adding it to the ginger because we're gonna add it to the dish at the same time. Let me guess, if you want it to be more garlicky, you can add more garlic. Oh, absolutely. And if you don't want to add that much garlic, then don't add so much garlic. Totally up to you. No big deal. Moving on to the sauce, I have a teaspoon of brown sugar. I'm adding about a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. One tablespoon of regular soy sauce. one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce will give it color. 
and it's not as salty as regular sorry, sauce. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And this is the sauce that's going to flavor your noodles. Make sure that sugar is dissolved. And if you don't want to use brown sugar, you can use regular sugar. If you don't have dark soy sauce, you can use an extra tablespoon of regular soy sauce. You'll want about three tablespoons of sauces, whatever you have. Okay, I just prepared the noodles as instructed on the package, which was to soak them in hot water for a minute. And you want the noodles to be nice and loose like this. You don't want them clumpy. Otherwise, well, your noodles are gonna be clumpy and you don't want that. We're heating up a wok on low. And if you don't have a wok, you can always use a large frying pan. A wok for me is just easier to move the ingredients around. I'm adding two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And actually, it's corn oil. That's what I'm using these days. And you can use whatever oil you want. I'm adding my ginger and my garlic. I'm gonna let this cook for a minute. I don't want it to burn, so let's turn this down a little bit. Okay, now adding the noodles. Just gonna try to get some of that garlic and ginger into the noodles. We're still on low, so we just want the noodles to kind of heat through. We don't want to fry up the noodles. And that's the difference between lo mein and chow mein is that chow mein is fried, lo mein just means mixing the noodles around. We're gonna add our sauce. Make sure that all the noodle is covered in some of the sauce. I'm gonna turn off the heat. We're adding a tablespoon of sesame oil. And we're adding the sesame oil at the end because that is how you will taste the flavor of the sesame. If you cook sesame oil, it actually decreases the flavor of sesame. So there's really no point in adding it ahead of the very end. And we're also adding roasted sesame seeds and maybe about a tablespoon. I'm gonna garnish with half of my green onions that I chopped up just to mix it in with the noodles and then the rest of the green onions will go on top. And if this is too dry for you in terms of lo mein, I am serving this on the side of meat and veggies that I'm cooking on the side, you can always add more sauce. Totally up to you, super versatile. But this will give you a baseline to start with. Oh my goodness, check out how much we have. That's a mountain of noodles. This will be more than what our family needs to eat on the side. Rest of your green onions on top. Are you all ready for? Yep. 